I think about them sometimes, but I try not to think about them. My best friend and the kid that played football with me, he got killed in World War II. He's a really a great kid. I was 22 when I first went into the Army, and that was when I graduated from the University of Idaho. I wanted to get the war over so I could hurry up and see my wife again, because I was gone for three years, and when the war finally ended, I did get out, and I was out for about 10 months, and the Army said, we need you to come back in. And after that, I went to Korea. I guess the memory that speaks out the most for me was when they signed the armistice in the last war that I was in, in the Vietnam War. I'd been overseas for about 14 months, and that was my third war in the infantry, and I thought, I just got to get home one more time, and I'm going to retire. A friend of mine called me, and he said, Hey, Earl, are you uh, ready to move by that place? I said, listen, I'm giving up my front seat in hell. I'm going to take a rear seat if you just get me out of here. He said, well, I got a job up at VPI if you want to go. I said, VPI, what's that? He said, I know you're going to live here. You got that farm down the valley, and I want you to retire and take the job as commandant and try to save the Corps of Cadets. So. I said, oh man, I've been trying to get out of this uniform for quite a few years. The president of the university let me hire a former cadet to help me recruit, and we got the Corps of Cadets, which was way under 100 people, built back up and up over 300. We started going into high schools, and I made a lot of changes in the Corps. I said, some of the things you kids are getting by with here, you will never get by with in the Army. Not that you don't discipline them when they do something wrong, but you don't harass them. I thought they were making them soldiers, but they were making them mad. A lot of them were quitting and leaving the Corps, and a lot of them were flunking out. So I changed a lot of things, because I had two of my own children in the Corps. Emily Davis. Yeah, I slightly remember who she is. First thought, well, why are we getting women in the Corps? Well, women make a major contribution to any war effort, not just, not just as uh, nurses and other things, but in several capacities. Heck, they can do a lot of the clerical jobs. And, and really, if you really want to know, there are some women that are better shots than some men, I'll tell you that. A lot of those women Heck, some of them would have made better soldiers than some of the men. I'm here in Blacksburg because when I retired from the Army, the president of the university asked me if I would be the commandant of cadets, and I had a little farm down the valley, and I said, I'm going to stay here. I'd love to be the commandant, so I did. I stayed here and not only raised cattle, but raised heck. <laughs> 